Okay, I'm going to show you how to get to this and this using this Excel file right here. This column has the right ascension, declination, and brightness of the stars. This is the constellation. So we're looking at Orion right here and the individual star names, usually the Greek letters, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and so forth. If you select this data right here, that's the right ascension and declination, and you say insert a scatter plot in Excel where you're connecting the lines, you get the lines of Orion there. It's squashed, of course, but you could make it symmetric. Now what these gaps are here, um, right there, are places where you pick up the pin, so to speak, so that you're not connecting all the stars. So if you drag this down further, you'll see that that makes the belt of Orion like so, and then go down even further still, and that completes Orion with the arms up like this. So these gaps right here are places where the pin is uh, picked up. Again, that's um, if you add in the code to change the size of data points to represent the magnitudes of the stars represented in this column right here, then you end up getting the constellation that you see here with a little more effort labels and scaling and so forth. Okay, let's look at another example. You're looking at uh, if you look at if you are looking at uh, this column right here, this is for the north polar chart. So it's taken these coordinates right here and then basically given them an x and y transformation so that you get the polar plot. And here I'm referring to this one, this plot right here. So to look at the Big Dipper, which is Ursa Major, the Big Bear, we can go down to Ursa Majoris, U M A. Okay, and there it is right there. And for some reason, you have to select just the data right here. If you select the blank rows, Excel kind of gets confused about it. So I go to scatter plot like this, and you see the big bear right there, where there is the nose, and then there's the body and the front leg of the bear. But to see the Big Dipper within that, you kind of have to look at the um, brightnesses of the stars involved here. And if you extend this down to the rest of Ursa Majoris, back up to this part right here, you can see the back leg, and now you see the Big Dipper, and these are where the seven brightest stars are at in uh, the constellation Ursa Major. Uh, these can be uh, summarized by basically putting all the constellations, as you can see here, because of the wraparound, we have these horizontal lines there. But I hope that gets you started in taking this data in Excel and transforming it into stars and the constellations.